Okay, everybody, I'm back. We're going to do the uh, Love Bite for Gemini. from, And this is going to cover the period from mid-November to mid-December to 2017. All right? The way this goes is I put out 10 cards uh, from the uh, Romance Angel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Uh, the first five cards are going to be for you, Gemini. And the second five cards are going to be for... Uh, your the person that you're interested in, your partner, or it could be the way that uh, what it is that you need to pay attention to about the situation. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, so normally I do this um, on YouTube, but uh, I've been having a hard time today. I just got a brand new uh, setup here. Thank God that I was blessed with a uh, new uh, PC and um, trying to get used to it. And it's taken me a few days to get uh, to the place where I was able to, to, to do a video. And uh, I did uh, two for cancer and uh, they didn't, they didn't take earlier this evening. I've been doing this all week and I mean well since Friday I've been trying to learn this PC and get it together so finally I just said you know what I got to get these done before Thanksgiving I want everybody to uh, have their love bites along with their Thanksgiving meal so let me get these out of the way so it's gone pretty quickly here at this time and I uh, I'm just gonna keep flowing through it, all right, and thank God that uh, there's more than one way to go about these things, because I want to make sure that you all get your readings, and because uh, I enjoy it, I really, I really do enjoy doing this, and I know that this is the work that God would have me to do, and I want to make sure these messages get out there, so. Once I have them all up, then, you know, I can figure out how to upload them later. But at least the message will be there. And uh, if you all do me a favor, like I ask my audience on YouTube, please uh, share them. Share these messages, even though they may not resonate with you. They may resonate with someone else out there. And... Uh, that's the whole purpose is to get the messages out because it's what the divine would have them to know. So do us a favor. Help them. Help spirit out. Help me out. Help yourself out. Help your friends out. And share the messages so that we can all do, get some growth and know what it is that the divine has for us all to do. All right, very good. So, Gemini, this is your love fight. After we get these first 10 cards down, we'll be getting uh, five more cards from the uh, Conscious Spirit Oracle deck, and then we'll get an additional message from the uh, Until Today cards by Yama Van Zandt. And finally, uh, we'll see whether or not we'll get a, a message from the uh, Postcards and Spirit by Colleen uh, Barrett-Reed. Um, and we'll see how, how it goes from there. Okay? So. Okay. First card that came up in this reading for you, Gemini, was Reconciliation. Right? Someone from your past is returning to your life, right? And this was in the first position for you. The next card in this reading that you got here was worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. But that was in the reverse. So... This is this person is coming back unexpectedly. You weren't expecting them. 
and uh, you might not be so sure that you're welcoming. It doesn't. It, you might not be that welcoming to this reconciliation. I get that from it being in the reverse. Okay, let's see what else we, they have to say. It is safe for you to love. Okay, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, Gemini. Okay, so maybe if you were distrustful of this person or you weren't sure whether or not you wanted to see them again, it's saying that it is safe for you to love. Next card that came up in this reading for you, Gemini, is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so this doesn't have to necessarily mean that you're going to run off and get married to this person and go on a honeymoon. What it could be saying is that you're going to be spending some time, maybe take a vacation or maybe uh, take some time to spend to get to know them again. All right, to, you know, fill them out and see if it is safe for you to love because uh, you weren't expecting them. All right, so whatever time it is that you are going to spend with them, it's going to be enjoyable. So maybe it's like a little vacation. Maybe you're going to go, you know, Atlantic City, you know, um, now, you know, somewhere that you can get back if you needed to. Um, but just some place where you'll be able to spend quality time um, reminiscing and reconciling. This could be a, a past lover could be someone that you were married to. Hmm. Yeah, that's what came up. And that's what Spirit said. Okay, the next card here that you get, Gemini, is very soon. Decide what you want so that it comes to you now. All right? But this was in the reverse. So I think... It's saying that there's no rush on this. You should decide what you want, but you weren't expecting this person, it seems. It doesn't seem that you were expecting to reconcile with this person at all. So I think it's saying not to rush into anything and to pay attention to what's going on. That This person is safe for you to love, but you have to feel that out for yourself. You have to get comfortable, and maybe you'll get comfortable um, when you take this little break, this little rendezvous together. But um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if this is happening right away. Because <clears throat> very soon was in the reverse. But I more thinking that it is uh that this kind of caught you off guard. But you have time to think about this. You have time to think about it and do you want do you really want this person's energy back in your life? Because remember this worth waiting for card came in reverse and you could be afraid that you're inviting the same energy back, which is why you weren't together in the first place, maybe. I always say when I see this card upside down, it's like <laughs> these angels are like, mm-hmm, yeah, let's see what's going to happen now, <laughs> you know, like they're sitting back waiting for it. Normally, this is how the card looks. I don't get that feeling. But when I see it like this, it's like, mm, like this is entertainment for, for, for the divine. You're like, yeah, okay, let's see how he or she handles this one. You know, let's see how this plays out. They're there to, to support you and they're there to protect you. But um, they're not, um, this is entertainment for them. They, they, they're, going to, they're not going to let you get hurt, but they just want to see how you handle it. They need comedy. Did I do Aquarius? Yes, 
Yes, uh, Brenda, I did Aquarius, and it's actually up on YouTube. If you uh, go there, you'll see it. Um, I don't even know what they're saying to me. A nearby device is trying to access this PC. Yeah, it's mine. Okay. All right, we didn't get thrown, thrown away, so... <laughs> Daphne has shared the uh, <laughs> Gemini <laughs> icons with us. Thank you so much, Daphne. She's so helpful. <laughs> okay, so those are the first five cards in your reading, Gemini. All right, that's what's that's what's happening for you. So these next five cards here will either be your partner or it'll be uh, information about things that you might need to pay attention to about your love life. All right, so. First card here is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. So maybe you all were married. And maybe that's why they're coming back. That's why they're trying to reconcile, but they don't want to get divorced. Or maybe you have kids together and they feel like they, that you all need to try to work it out for the, for the sake of a family. Because that's falling right underneath the reconciliation card for you. The next card that came up in the reading for them was release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, but it came in reverse. So they're not ready to release you either. So this is kind of saying that there will be a reconciliation. The next card that came up for them is you deserve love. You are lovable. But it came in reverse. The spirit just said to me that they feel that they did something wrong to you and that they don't deserve you. Hmm. So I guess they're coming back humbly. I guess that's what they're saying. They don't want to let you go. And they're returning. They think that you're too they think that you're that you're too good for them, maybe? Or they're nervous to try to come back to you because they know that they were in the wrong. Next card that you got in this reading is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So it seems like they have been really um, praying about this and, and thinking about this a lot. They really wanted to get back to you and they're trying to stay optimistic. And this falls underneath the honeymoon card for you. All right. So. They are looking forward to spending some time with you. But this is what they've been praying for and hoping for. Hmm. And the last card that they got in this reading is trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. But it came in reverse in this position for them. And I think what it's saying is that they know that you don't trust them. They know that you don't trust them and that you don't, they don't deserve you to love them because of what they've done. And they know better because that's not how they were raised. Whatever it is that they did that caused you all to fall out. 
to separate. They knew better and they feel like they, they, uh, they've ashamed themselves and that they have to do something to, to try to make this up to you because you deserve better than them. And that's why the angels are sitting here upside down waiting to watch how this plays out <laughs> because this is like, oh, whoa, really? Worth waiting for? Not really. So I uh, maybe you had pretty much gone on your way. You weren't looking for a reconciliation. It's happening, but it's not something that you were looking for. And you're not trusting. That's why it's telling you that it is safe for you to love because you're a little leery of this person. And you are going to take time to, get to, to spend some time so that you can see exactly where they're coming from. But you're not rushing into anything with them because they did do something to cause you all not to be together. Something that they that they knew better. So this may have had something to do um, with your religious beliefs. Not that they were in opposition to each other, but they did they did something that they knew was a like a deal breaker. It could have been having an affair. It could have been anything. Doesn't necessarily mean that they were having an affair. I'm just that's just the first thing that came up because that's the easiest thing to think of. But people could do all kinds of things to break your trust. It has nothing to do with uh, being unfaithful, uh, you know. Maybe they were gambling. Maybe they, uh, hmm. maybe they were gambling. Maybe they had a secret that they held on to. Maybe they fell out of faith. You know, maybe you all. Um, had the same belief system and they changed from it and it really caused uh, a problem and now they're coming back you know hoping that you'll let them back in and you're leery of it because you don't know what they were getting into when they were over there in that other system or whatever but that's why Spirit is saying to you it's safe. But they're humbling themselves, I feel, Gemini. They're humbling themselves and they're staying optimistic because they know that they have to re, uh, regain your trust, but that's something that they really want to do. Okay. So the next five cards that we'll get in this reading is um, <laughs> Daphne is sharing <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, and I see all these people looking, and I see your your comments, Daphne, more than anybody else's. This is so funny. Okay. Um, so we're going to get five more cards here from the uh, Conscious Spirit Oracle by Kim Dwyer and see what it is that, uh, what other messages that we can get concerning this, this relationship. And if I'm not answering you guys, I'm not greeting you, it's because I'm trying to focus on, what I, uh, on, on these messages. <clears throat> I'm not being rude, I'm just trying to focus. I normally don't do this live because I, I, I focus, you know, I know sometimes I, you know, I can do it without it, but when I do these readings, I try to focus. All right, so first card we get here for you is third eye chakra. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. And this came between reconciliation and religious factors. So, yeah, I think this has to do with spirituality. <clears throat> Next card that came up was the sacral chakra. All right. 
I feel comfortable in my own body and I'm sensitive to other people's feelings. This came between releasing your ex upside down and worth waiting for upside down. The sacral chakra is that sexual, sensual chakra, you know, that way down in your gut feeling. Yeah, so there's some sensuality going on here. Or maybe the, you know, you might miss that part of the relationship. Okay. Here's what it is. Love is love, right? The heart can't help what it wants sometimes or who it wants sometimes. And it had nothing to do with nothing. It just came out my mouth. <laughs> oh, right. The next thing is the throat chakra. Ooh, all your chakras are involved in this. <laughs> Everything is getting involved in this. This is your throat chakra talks about speaking up. This is here. This is something that needs to be said. All right. I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. So, again, this is about communication. This is about your intuition. This is about your sensuality and your sexuality. And this is about your ability to, to speak your truth. Very, very interesting. Oof. Third eye chakra. Sacral chakra. Throat chakra. Got to be careful what we say on here. These are um, PG. They can, uh, <laughs> they can, they can uh, delete this, this video from Facebook and from YouTube. Hmm. <laughs> Gratitude. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next card that you got here was... Gratitude. I'm grateful for everyone and everything in my life and each lesson that it brings. All right. This fell between the honeymoon card for you and stay optimistic about your love life for them. Okay. So I think there are lessons. There was a lesson that you needed to learn in this situation that you need to talk about it. But I also think that, you know, maybe when you're having your little um, honeymoon alone time, if you feel like you want to give in to those urges and, you know, feel that way again, it's safe for you to do so. You could do so. The car said so. It's safe for you to love. <laughs> so if you feel like you want to explore and express yourself in that manner, be safe. But. It's all right for you to do that. The last card here that came up is Sun Goddess. I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. All right. So this talks about being grateful. All right. This talks about embarking on a bright future. All right. If you, um, I don't know if you can see it, and this camera is driving me crazy because it's backwards, and my spatial dyslexia is kicking in right now. So let me see if I can get my finger over there. Okay. This, there's a picture over here in the corner. There's this uh, figure here um, standing behind the brightness like this, someone who was worried and was fretting. But this this figure here is stepping out into the brightness and embracing the sun. But this came in the reverse. I think that you, you that you're being away from this person was a depressing thing for you. You weren't really looking for it. 
you weren't looking for it because I think you probably kind of just wrote it off, but you missed them. You missed them. This was your life partner. This was a person that you really did want to be with. And so they will they're they're gonna work hard to earn back your trust. Cause they put you through a lot. But you're gonna be open to it because you do love them. Your guards are up, and that's what you have to speak about it. You have to let them know what they did. I'm sure they already do, but you have to let, you have to, to talk about it. And, and, and get them to talk about it too. What were they thinking? And you're going to use your intuition. You're going to use that divine, the tools of the divine to listen. Okay, you gain wisdom from this experience. <clears throat> And you're going to learn something from this encounter even, even if you don't take them back or you don't accept them back right away. There's information that you're going to get and you're going to get some uh, clarity, I believe, in uh, regards to what went on. And sometimes that's what we need when these heartbreaking events happen is a chance not just to... Um, speak your mind and do all of that <laughs> but to get some some clarity so you can understand what happened you know I, I i thought that you were my my always my lobster right <laughs> you were the person i was going to be with forever how did this happen how did this what 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 you know and and you don't want to take blame on yourself um but you do want to find out was there anything you know that that uh that you didn't see was there were there signs and the only way that you can find that out is to have that conversation and not to argue about it not to get into a screaming match but to try to listen and see what it is that you may have uh, overlooked okay and why this person decided to go that way or to step outside of the relationship if that's what happened. Or to even, you know, um, maybe they went to, to, to look at, an, at other um, spiritual religious beliefs. And maybe you need to be open to listening to that too, you know. Just because it's different doesn't mean it's wrong, you know. Or maybe they found out that that's not what they wanted to do. But maybe you'll get a better understanding if you all can talk about it um, from a place of love, you know, and you having the goal in mind to learn something, not just to be right, but to, to learn something. Okay, so this car, these cards were the uh, Yala Van Zandt Until Today deck, all right? Um, The card that came for you in this reading from Iyala Van Zandt's cards is trying to hard trying to hide what I feel does not work. Until today, you may not have understood that harboring feelings creates tension in a relationship, and that what you feel is an important step towards healing yourself and another. Until, just for today, lovingly express your feelings in a way that honors yourself and others. That's what I'm talking about. 
Until today, you may not have understood that harboring feelings creates tension in a relationship and that what you feel is an important step towards healing yourself and another. Just for the day, lovingly express your feelings in a way that honors yourself and others. Trying to hide what I feel does not work. So speak your truth. Okay. But don't be afraid to feel what you feel. If this person, you know, affects you like that and, you know, be real about it too. You're not in high school anymore. You all had a relationship before. You might even been married before. Okay, so you like their sex. They like your sex. All right, that doesn't have any, you know, that's just one part of the relationship. But you don't have to be shy to tell the person that. It might help. Maybe you didn't tell them that. Maybe you didn't express that part of your relationship. So that could be what caused them to, you know, look around outside and see what else was going on out there. Not your fault. Just saying. Be real about yours. All aspects of who I am are important. Exactly. Not just the religious, not just the spiritual, but the sexual, the sensual. That's important. All aspects of who I am are important, and you need to be able to express that. If your needs are not being met, you need to be able to speak up about it. Or if you uh, would like to try something different, you should be able to feel free to speak about that. The marriage bed is not defiled. All my Bible scholars out here. <laughs> you know, you as long as two people agree that this is what they want to do in their relationship and in this marriage, there's nothing wrong with that. Let me finish reading what she wrote instead of talking about what I'm thinking, okay? Until today, you may have believed that having a dark side makes you unworthy to seek and receive the light. Just for today, remember that stars only shine in the darkness. Transform the energy of your dark side to enhance your star quality. Yeah, I think it's telling you to embrace that part of you, too. Embrace that other side. Um, now, the next card that we're going to get is the Postcards from Spirit, cards by Colette Baron reed And uh, these are new cards. They just came on the market. And uh, I did an unboxing about uh, two weeks ago, 10 days ago, whatever. Could be more than that at this point. Um, and what these are are separate individual postcards that have messages on them, okay, from spirit to you, all right? And they respond in the collective rather than the singular. So, in other words, if you ask a question of uh, your ancestor and you're expecting to hear from a, a particular ancestor, the response on these cards are going to be in the collective. So it's going to be a we, a our, a us, um, rather than um, a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. So they answer us in the collective, even though the question is directed in the singular. Okay, here we go. So thanks, Spirit, for these messages. Uh, uh, I'm reading some of these comments. I don't want to repeat them out loud because some of them are personal. But I guess y'all could read each other's comments, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I very rarely am on that side of um, Facebook Live. Okay, so card that came out for you was 
you are loved. No, you are love. You are love. These cards are very um, ethereal, very light. You know, it's written like the artwork is so beautiful, but it, it fades off and the writing is not all that clear. But uh, thank goodness so far tonight I've been able to read it. You are loved. Dearest you, we here on the other side have one important thing to declare. Love is the answer to literally everything. We don't necessarily mean romantic or erotic love, although they are wonderful, but something above and beyond that. Well, I guess they wouldn't put me in my place. <laughs> <laughs> Everything alive in the world was first created by love. Spirit sends love to animate life and birth it into existence. Hmm. Love is without conditions. And it is based on reverence and a fierce and joyful, respectful life. Love thrives when you focus on it. And we want you to turn away from anything that causes it to wane. Love is when you no longer see yourself as other, separate from, better or less than, etc. When you act as love, you give permission to the world to thrive and grow as it will. Can you let go of what is not love and ask, what would love do? Love is waiting for you always and forever. We just adore you over here. So that was your message, Gemini. Well, huh. so in this relationship, in this situation, what would love do? Would they forgive that partner, open their hearts up to giving them a chance, share, express themselves? Share themselves? with that partner because maybe that's something that that you need to reconnect like that this is a beautiful reading okay Gemini thank you very much for um, joining me for this reading I still have, I know I have to do Taurus. I know Taurus needs to be done. And I'm thinking that might be it, but I know I have to do Taurus because I didn't do them yet. So I'll be back in about uh, 10 minutes. Just give me a chance to uh, get this off of Facebook and uh, get ready for the next reading so I can uh, finish these up. This is going rather well, actually. I am a little tired, but it's only 11:30. All right. So I have to. Uh, I I need to check and see exactly what I have left. I know Taurus is, is still left for me to do. So anybody, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. Okay. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Um. So keep your uh, Facebook pages open, and uh, we'll be getting a reading for. Taurus, all right? So if you have any Taurus friends out there, let them know that we'll be doing this. And thank you so much for watching. Um, you can uh, follow me. My page on Facebook is Our Stories Continue. And uh, that way you'll always get notifications of whenever I post something, whether it's here on, you on Facebook or on YouTube. I usually, um, whatever I do on YouTube, I post it. Uh, to the our story continues and then I do uh, post other things uh, along the way lots of uh, memes and videos and information things that I other people post and, and share with me on my line on my timeline I post it in uh, on that space also it's kind of how I started it was a little blog that I, I do and uh, express my little feelings so you can go our stories continue and uh, 
go over there and follow me and you'll get notifications. And also you can go on to YouTube and uh, put in Ia Patsy, Ia Emi Patsy, E-Y-A-E-M-I Patsy, P-A-T-S-Y. And you'll find me and you can subscribe there and then you'll know when I upload uh, content to YouTube when I figure out how to get that done with this new uh, this new fangled computer system I have here by Samsung. All right, so I'll see you guys back here in about 10 minutes, and thank you so much. Um, feel free to make comments here or on the, my uh, YouTube page, and uh, I'll be talking to you in about 10 minutes. Thanks again, everybody. Bye-bye.